wherever you are watching us, I want to say hi and welcome. Thanks for stopping and connecting with me here at University Drive Alliance Church. My name is Brian Polsky. I'm the corporate and community chaplain here at UDAC. We miss you all at this time of crisis. And I have a couple things I want to share with you today. Uh, we want to stay connected is one thing. Uh, secondly, I want to share some verses. And thirdly, I'd like to pray with you. So first, uh, in this time where we are working really hard at social distancing ourselves, we really want to work hard at staying connected here at the church and the church family as much as possible. So we, we invite you to, to stay connected via Facebook, listen and read our posts, but also it is so important to respond and engage with those posts as much as possible. We and our church family want to hear from you. Even if it's an emoji or a short note on those posts, please do that. Email and text us, let us know what's going on. Uh, our church website, udac.ca, has an online ministry tab where you need to go for everything that is UDAC at this time. All the posts and everything will be on that page. So whether you have Facebook or not, our website is the place to go. So let me read a couple verses for you this morning, or today, um, that our family chose as our verses last night. From Psalms, 46. Psalm 46, verse 1 and 2 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and mountains crumble into the sea. And then down in verse 10, it says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in these times of trouble. And it seems right now we are in that place, don't you? Verse two, so we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. And, and that's pretty scary sounding. We will not fear when a deadly virus comes. No, because God is our refuge and strength. And he is always ready to help us in times like this. And then that, uh, that verse, verse 10, is really a continuation from Pastor Scott's message this past Sunday. And the psalmist says, be still and know that I am God. We've said this lots around UDAC lately. God is still sitting on the throne. He is still in control in this time of crisis. We do not need to be fearful, no. So allow me to read those verses one more time. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to meditate and allow this truth to sink in, not only to your, your mind, but into your heart today for us all. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Be still and know that I am God. It's good truth for us today. Lastly, I wanna pray for us and with us together. And so however you feel comfortable, let's pray together. Would you join me? God, thank you that you are still in control in all of what is going on, that you are still on the throne on high. Help us remember today that you are our refuge and strength and that you are always here for us, to help us. We ask that you would bring an end to this crisis and bring a halt to this virus. God, heal our land. Thank you for those on the front lines who serve us in so many ways, all our healthcare providers and our frontline workers, from police and fire to our border service officers that are protecting our borders and those who are still serving us in our communities like our grocery store workers and many others, God, thank you. God, help us to do our part in what we can do to bring an end to this crisis. Father, help us to be wise, be cautious. Thank you for our church, not just this building, but the people who call UDAC their church family and, and many others that are connecting with us online. God, thank you for this. Bring us together, help us to stay connected in ways we would have never dreamed necessary a few weeks ago. God, help us, keep us safe. We thank you in Jesus' precious name, amen.
Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad we are in this together. We are. And if you have things we can be praying for you about, very specifically, go to our website, udac.ca online ministry. And there's a place on our website where you can post um, and send us uh, a prayer request. And we will get it to our prayer people who will be praying for you very specifically. We need to stay connected, folks. Our national president of the Christian Mission Alliance, uh, Missionary Alliance has called us to a day of prayer tomorrow, March 25th. Would you join us in praying? We will be posting his call to prayer um, shortly here on our website and on Facebook. Uh, and join together as we pray for each other and for this crisis. So thanks again for joining in, for listening in, for taking the time. Take care and God bless.